having a blessed day. I'm going to make one of my power smoothies today and I'm going to have you join in with me. So let's get started. So guys, as you can see, I have my chug lug container. It's the larger one. Okay. And so we're going to be adding in some from the camera that frozen watermelon rind. Okay. I'm going to be adding in a banana. I'm going to use some V8 um, V8 peach and mango juice as a base. Don't have much in there, so we're going to add some water to that. I'm not using milk or anything. We're going to use some frozen avocado. And guys, I actually bought this but then I actually take my uh, fresh avocado and I will cut them and I will also add them to this these keep longer for me than the the fresh because I don't eat them quite that fast and so this lasts longer so I want to try the frozen for a change I'm going to add in a bit of uh, so you can see mixed frozen fruit okay and I have some additional uh, strawberries here they're frozen so we're going to add in a fruit just a few not fruit but few frozen uh, strawberries just to give a little more flavor to that now guys that I like flaxseed I like flaxseed um, flaxseed is it's good for so many things but we can get uh, and you can look this up but you can get your omega 3's out of that, your omega 6, your omega 9 and just so many other things uh, that you can get out of this 3 grams of protein, calcium 28 grams uh, that we normally just don't get sometimes in our everyday foods right so I use the ground, the ground uh, the ground uh, flaxseed. I like that one. So we're going to use a tab of that. Uh, a scoop rather. And some of you know I use kajava. I love the kajava uh, full meal. Superfood full meal. So since we're adding in um, and you can add in other things to kajava or you can just use it um, just plain kajava in water is great too. But I'm going to add in uh, those things, those items that I mentioned to you there. And uh, we're going to make our frozen smoothie for today. And this, folks, will carry me. Um, it actually carries me just about all day, really. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, now hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So I've added in now the uh, V8 juice. And just a little bit, I had a partial package of... Uh, the watermelon rind so now I have more here so we're going to add in a bit more of the frozen watermelon rind here let's just drop some of that in there yeah that's like a good good amount there. that's good okay and now put that aside and we're going to now Go ahead and get out just probably a good handful of the, uh, pull this down so you guys can see me and sink down here a little bit, the uh, frozen fruit. So let's just get a good handful of mixed things, mixed things here, yeah, all right, and then we're going to put those right in there like that, okay, that should be good because we're going to add in some uh, strawberries remember we're going to add in some frozen strawberries here so 
Let's go ahead and get our handful. Maybe like that, I guess. Yeah, frozen strawberries. That's good. Okay, you don't want to have so much frozen stuff in there that the, the blender can't uh, chop it up. And then we're going to... I usually just uh, peel this banana like so. Put this down there just a bit. Back like that. And uh, you don't really have to cut it a slice it or anything. You can just kind of chunk it in there. Yeah, chunk it in there. Yeah, that's what we used to say in the country. You're going to chunk the ball. I'm going to chunk the rock. I'm going to chunk it in there. Okay, I'm going to throw that in the garbage. And then we're going to get a you know, towel here. And let's go ahead and add in now we can, some of these um, avocado. I love avocado. I finally, I'm so proud of myself that I finally learned how to eat avocado. Now these big larger chunks you see, these are ones that I had from my fresh avocado that I cut and uh, added it to my frozen package there. And that way, if you don't need or want to eat the whole avocado because of the calories, you can, you know, not do that. But it is so healthy for you. The uh, avocado is, is really a something that needs to be a part of your diet. Um, I didn't grow up with it, but I learned that I really, really needed it. And it carries uh, 280 80 milligrams of uh, potassium, too. But it has the natural fats that we need uh, in our body. So, yeah, yeah, just Google that and I'll see what you think about it. Now, with the, this my towel here, got it off. Okay. With the, those are wet and cold. Uh, now with the, uh, let's open here. Guys, I work, work in medicine and I sometimes I don't have fingernails. <laughs> okay, so this is now your flaxseed. And I'm only going to use just, yeah, about a half a scoop around in there. So flaxseed, brown flaxseed. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, tons and tons of things it mentions that is just good for. Hardly any calories, but it gives you calcium, it gives you magnesium, gives you uh, potassium, gives you omega-3, omega-6, gives you omega-9, gives you ligands. It just gives you tons and tons of things that you uh, definitely need into your, your body, okay? So, you might want to look into that. Maybe yes, maybe no. Lastly, uh, I think it's lastly, we're going to go ahead and add in now. Normally, for a serving of, of uh, kajava, you, it's two scoops. But today, since I have so many other ingredients in my uh, smoothie, I'm only going to do one scoop one scoop today, okay? One scoop. Now, kajava, you can look that up. This thing is loaded. It's a superfood. I've been using it for a while, and I've really just been pleased with it. it uh, it's, it's, it's not many calories. It's a complete meal. Fiber, protein, vitamins, 26 vitamins in this thing. Um, 100, they're all plant-based. It's all protein. Yeah, more of your omegas, the antioxidants, uh, you know, it's got 17 greens and veggies in there. You know what I'm saying? So there's tons and tons of uh, stuff in this super food. And you can just have just this. I, I'm using today the coconut acacia, uh, yeah, acacia flavor. You can, there's many other flavors that you can get for this. So what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to go to take this over to our chug lug. And uh, we're going to see if we can blend this all together and see what we come up with.
looks nice and looks like homemade ice cream, actually. Whoa, yeah. All right, let's see how we taste this. All right, taste test time. See the consistency in that? Oh, my. Oh, my. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, this is so, so good. Mmm. And not only is it good, it is healthy. Oh. Mmm. So cold, guys. It, it's like a, almost like a slush. Almost like a slush. Guys, I'm going to use the straw. Let's stir it around. Let's see what we can do here. Mmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't know if you can see this. This is so good. Guys, I just want to encourage you to eat healthy. Do what you can for your health. You can only do what you can do. All the rest is left up to, to, the, to the Lord. It's left up to God. But we are workers together with Christ. And he said, I wish above all that you be in good health. He wants us to be in good health. So we want to do what we can. We want to live long and we want to live healthy. It's not just enough to have a, a long life, but we want to live a long life and a healthy life. So guys, this is the Encourage the Queen See No Longer Bound. We're going to see you right here. next time.